Good morning. I heard something recently. Somebody said that, you know, we're all kind of dealing with the same thing, but it's kind of different for different people. They put it this way. It's the same storm for everyone, but we're all in different boats, different kinds of boats. Maybe some people would say, I'm not even in a boat. I've just got a life preserver. So we're going through different stuff right now. Uh, and I think that's kind of helpful to, to understand that this isn't the same for everyone for a myriad of reasons. I want to talk to you about two things today. They sound kind of similar. They're very different. Biosphere, bathosphere. So here's the deal. A number of years ago in Arizona, they had this scientific experiment. They had this bathosphere, this big dome, and they put a bunch of scientists in there, and they're going to stay in there, I think, for months and months and months, if not a year and a half. I don't remember. But it was pretty much an epic fail. The scientists, in the end, they got on each other's nerves, and they couldn't get along. I wonder how they're doing now during this quarantine shelter in place kind of thing. I don't know, but they didn't get along too well. The other thing that was a problem was the trees. The trees were dying. As a matter of fact, if I remember correctly, the trees were falling over. And so they tried to figure out what's wrong with the trees. Do you know what the problem was? No wind. They didn't factor in resistance. Trees need resistance. So it makes their root network strong, I guess. And the same thing with our lives. The winds of adversity, they can really make us stronger. Oh, they can destroy us, but by the grace of God, they will make us stronger. So bathosphere. You know, I looked up the word and I couldn't find it. But as I recall, it's one of these things that big iron things with some windows and they would drop it down to the ocean floor and there'd be a hose with oxygen. But anytime they showed in the movies, this is like the 60s, they'd always show like the bolts are rattling because there's incredible pressure out there. There's all the pressure of everything that's on top of it. Kind of reminds me of Diver Dan. Now, I just asked Russ if you remember Diver Dan. He didn't, which means you got to be kind of old if, to remember Diver Dan. But he was on Ray Rayner and this diver would go down and he'd walk around and talk to the fish while he had this hose going up. Well, anyway, it was a pretty crazy setup. But I always remember my dad loved this that there was Beden Barracuda. And then he had his, his henchman, Triggerfish. And Triggerfish actually had a cigarette hanging out of his mouth. And the classic line, they use it again and again, is Baron, or the Triggerfish had this, this kind of dopey voice. He's like, he'd say stuff like, hey boss. And Baron would say, how many times do I have to tell you? Don't call me boss, call me Baron, you idiot. All right, Baron, you idiot. Crazy stuff, I don't know how they came up with it. But here's the point. In those bathospheres, they would go down. There's incredible pressure. Same would be true with Diver Dan, only it really wasn't underwater. The bolts are rattling and everything. But here's the thing. They look out the window and here are these fish out there. Wait a minute. They're under this incredible pressure. How is it that the fish are fine? Well, because they were created for it. And they have the internal strength to resist and to push back on that external pressure. When I think of that, I think of what Paul wrote to the church at Philippi. He says, greater is he that's within you than he that's in the world. Greater is Jesus inside of you than any kind of evil in the world. And then he also goes on to say that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me from the inside out. That's what Jesus wants to do is give us strength on the inside to deal with the pressures outside. And in the process, like what didn't happen in the, uh, the biosphere, is it can actually make us stronger. I hope you have a great day. God bless you.